Hey friends, this is Dan Burke, spiritualdirection.com. I'm at the beautiful St. Vincent's Basilica, which is the Basilica of the Arch Abbey of St. Vincent's in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. A Benedictine monastery that's been a mother house of many other monasteries around the United States. And I want to reflect a minute on St. Benedict's rule and a particular reflection that he provides or direction he provides on the distinction between what he calls an evil zeal uh, and a good zeal. And this is in chapter 72 of the rule. And he makes a distinction and he says that as there is an evil zeal of, bit of bitterness which separates from God and leads to hell, pretty strong language, uh, so there is a good zeal which separates from vices and leads to God and to life everlasting. Teresa of Avila, in parallel, reflects on this uh, good zeal when somebody comes to a conversion and they begin to see their own sins. And then what the enemy does at that point is he begins to show them the sins of others and the person is lost because they exit that uh, very healthy realm of self-awareness into a realm of criticism of others uh, as a primary preoccupation. And we certainly see that in our time among the faithful who are struggling with difficulties in the church. Uh, this, there's both holy zeal and, and zeal that leads to hell. How do we tell the difference? Well, here's what St. Uh, uh, Benedict says. He says, let monks therefore practice this latter zeal, which is the good zeal, with most fervent love, that is, let them honor and anticipate one another let them bear most patiently with one another's infirmities, uh, whether of body or of character, even of character. Let them endeavor to surpass one another in the practice of mutual obedience. Let no one seek that which he accounts useful for himself, um, but rather what is profitable to another. Let them practice fraternal charity, with chaste love, let them fear God and let them love their abbot with sincere and humble affection and let them prefer nothing whatever to Christ that he may bring us to life everlasting. So a holy zeal is one that is a zeal of patience. It's one that's a constant proclamation of the gospel and of good and constantly calling people to God and to repentance. But, but it's one that isn't constantly pointing out the sins and failings of others. It's one that is demonstrably, practically self-giving to others. And so we teach, we adhere to the truth. We're totally committed to the magisterium without reservation. We're unafraid of speaking it clearly. But the way in which we deal with one another um, uh, in a zeal that's holy is one that is fervent in love, honoring one another, bearing patiently with one another's infirmities, whether of body or character. And so that's what the Lord calls us to in this difficult time, that our zeal might be honoring and patient. Uh, the New Testament's really clear when it talk, speaks to um, treating everyone with dignity and gentleness. So please consider St. Benedict's wisdom in this realm. Have a holy zeal and not a zeal that leads to hell. This is Dan Burke, spiritualdirection.com. God bless. Hey friends, if you like this video, please help us to be a blessing to others. Subscribe to our channel, spiritualdirection.com. Share this video. Help us get the word out. God bless.